Hi, on the last video we learned how to read data from the database, right? On this video we're going to be learning how to update that data using PHP. It's going to be really fun. But first, I want to start separating the code into functions. So that way we can use it with any other files. And this is what PHP is all about. So I think it's about time we start doing this. All right, so I want to create a separate file for the connection here. So that way every time I make a new uh, function, a new element on my website or application, I can just reuse this file every time. I don't have to keep be copying and pasting the same code over and over in all the pages. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save as on this login underscore read.php. And first I want to open this right here so, so I can see where I'm going. So let's just make it login underscore update, enter. All right, now that we have this file here that we can work with, basically what we are going to be doing is called refactoring, all right? I'm going to right click here. I'm going to create a new file, and this is where I'm going to put my database, db.php, all right? This is where we're going to be putting the database. So let's take this off, have it add a login underscore update. Let's take it off from there. And let's put it in the DB right here. First, let's open a PHP tag right here. All right, there we go. And let's go back to update. I want to show you what happens when you should already know what happens when you take the connection off. It says on define variable connection. So we have a problem now, right? We don't have the, the connection here because we just took it off. But the trick is that you need to use a function called include, and this function will bring in, let me just show you how that works. We bring in that file from from the db.php. So we're gonna we're gonna include db.php. Let's make sure we put a semicolon there, and that way we get back the file. Now we are using this file db for a connection for our database. All right? That's pretty cool now, right? So now we don't have to have this code right here. It was a mess before. All right? So now this read now. So what are we going to do here? How are we going to update this stuff? All right, first of all, we don't need this right here. All right, let's just make this a little smaller like this. We need actually a file that we can put things in there and... Um, a form, a little form where we can put the username, the password, and we can click update and it will update our data. Similar to the one we have on the create. If you look at the create one, we have this. So what we want is a form like this where we can put a username, we can put a password, and then we can have an ID field here and click submit and it will update that. So that's what, that's what we want to do. So let's go ahead and take some of this code from here and use that because why why write something else when we have this code here right so let's just take this off here copy it and bring it down to the to that login update and let's go ahead and do it right here let's just take all this off all right Let's take all that off. We're gonna take put something else in there. Take this off and put our code right here. Alright. So now this looks like this because at my resolution. If I make it smaller, you can see that it looks neat. It looks more neat than what that is there. Let me just make sure we have that. You see that? It looks neater. But if I make it big so you guys can see it. That's when the problem comes. But anyway, I, I hope you are not lost there. All right, so now we have this form here. And if I save it, we have something like this there. Now we need an ID field here. And for that, I'm going to use a select. So let's do that. Let's use a select. Let's first use a this form group thing that I we've been using with this framework, a style framework, bootstrap. Right. Let's go ahead and make a select right here. All right. And we 
we're going to have a couple options in there. There we go. And let's just put ID for now here. So if we come back here, we see that we have that there. Let's just put one just as a placeholder. Okay? So we have the ID one. So what we want to do again, let me just right here update this so you get a better idea. We are going to all right, put a username here, whatever username we want, and whatever password we want, and we're going to go to the database, click here, and it's going to pick up an ID from the database. I'm going to show you the ID that is going to pick up. Localhost. Uh, not localhost, I'm sorry, PHP my admin. That's where I want to go. Right here. Right. I want to show you what this little application is going to be doing. If you don't already know, let's go to users. And all right. So you see this ID right here? This is the ID that we are going to be picking up on that field right here. We're going to read the database and put the ID dynamically in here. So that way, when we click here, we're going to have a list of IDs here. And when we choose an ID, well, let's say we choose ID number one and we put whatever username and whatever password. When we click update, this date is going to change right here. The username is going to change and the password is going to change for this specific ID. In this case, it's going to be ID number one. So if I put, I don't know, Jose here or something and whatever password and I click update, this first ID is going to change, right? Because that's the ID that I'm picking up over there. The, not the ID, the username is going to change referring to ID number one and the password. So that's what we are doing here, right? So let's finish refactoring this real quick. All right, so the next thing that we got to do is, is that we got to bring that information from the database. So I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna cut the video here because I think it's uh, enough. Let's just do one more thing before I cut the video and we're gonna do it in the next video, right? We're gonna do the query to the database. Let's go to the DB first, and instead of saying we are connected, that annoying text there all the time, let's just say if not connection, then we get an error, right? So you just take all this off here. So if not connection, then we get all this going here, all right? So for example, if I make a mistake here, all right? I make this mistake here and I put this here and it's not connected then we get an error right here you see that and that should get an error give us an error in the other file so let's go down to up, logging update and you see we have an error here okay so let's go ahead and fix that all right so let's just go ahead and save all right, so now we're good. So we don't get that we are connected all the time there, all right? So anyway, on the next video here, we are going to be updating. We're going to be pulling information from the database dynamically. We're going to be put up, pulling the ID from the database from that specific um, fields, okay? So anyway, um, thank you so much, and i see you in the next lecture.